Welcome back to a special edition of The Move and greetings from the island of Mallorca. I'm Lance Armstrong, joined by George Hincapi. And for the first time, maybe, I guess, in forever, in person, the best of all time, Johan Brunil, talking about the World Championships 2021, an exceptional performance by Julian Alaphilippe, only the seventh time that anybody has ever won a World Championships back-to-back you got to go back to 1928 and 29. George Ronce, Rick Van Steenberger, 57 and 58. Rick Van Loy, 60 and 61. Johnny Buño, 91 and 92. By the way, Johnny Buño there today. Paolo Bettini, 2006 and 7. Sagan, three in a row, 2015, 16, and 17. And now Julian Alaphilippe, 2020 and 2021. What a hell of a race. Lots to talk about. Today's show brought to you by Aura, as it is each and every time, the Smart Ring. I got to say, I don't know about you guys, I'm not loving my data. The jet lag is just jacking with me. But sleep is critical to everything, whether it's mental clarity, physical performance. It all starts with sleep. Head on over to Aura Ring. That's O-U-R-A ring.com. And one of their updates, which you always give me a hard time about in Aspen when I take these little power naps, it actually scores your power naps now and it adds to your readiness score and your sleep score, which I love. So thank you, Aura. Yep. A man like you with a lot of time on his hands, those naps come in handy. But um, what, what, what a race. I mean, it was a, it was a, to me, it was a different race. This was not your typical World Championships Olympic Games where they have, you know, uh, 15, uh, 17 kilometer circuits. This was different. The Belgians, and you saw it. You saw it on the side of the road. You saw it in the helicopter shots. This was typical. Flandrian bike racing where it's just party atmosphere people out they mixed up you know bigger circuits smaller circuits uh yeah. I, I was impressed i gotta give it to him i thought earlier this morning johan mentioned but it wasn't johan it was somebody else mentioned that he thought it could be a field sprint but i got i gotta tell you today lacking the you know the iconic one climb that is typical right. for world championships we had 50 to 100 climbs and it was a war of attrition out there. The riders finished basic, essentially one by one by one, which tells you how hard that race really was. Yeah, I mean, at, at, you know, the World Championships, 267 kilometers. That's the key. You know, I mean, on a race like on a course like this, there's no way that a, a panakuk <laughs> is gonna is gonna win no. is gonna win the race, right? So uh, you can see. I mean, at the end, Alaphilippe was just above everybody else. And the two other big favorites, which, you know, Van Aert and, and Van Der Poel in a second degree, but, you know, they just didn't have it. And it, I think it's one race until 200 kilometers where basically the whole professional peloton is able to perform very, very good after 200. Then it's a race until 240. And then those last 25 kilometers, that's when really, you know, either you can still stand up or you have to sit down. Like, like we saw with Jasper Steuben, for example, you know, he wanted it but didn't have the power anymore. And uh, ah, the best guy won without discussion. If, yeah. And you great. Yo, and you grew up in these parts. If you have to imagine, and, and or if you had to guess in 270 kilometers of racing, I mean, there's certain things that make bike, bike racing hard, right? There's obviously hills or climbs. There's the elements, i.e. the weather. And then there's corners. Mm-hmm. Like if you had to imagine over 270 kilometers, the way they structured this course, how many corners yeah. Did they have? And if you watch the race, these aren't just soft corner. I mean, these are like true corners, hard corners. That makes a bike race. So if you're not at the front all day long, it just it just beats you down. I so think you, this is this is an element that normally you don't have in a typical world championships. And it would be interesting to see the power graph. Mm-hmm. You know, every time this Big peak spikes. after yeah. every yep. corner, and it, it just adds up, adds up, and Every world championships, you know, it's it's on laps. The repetition of the little hills, which yeah. basically on an, on themselves, they're not much. But yeah, that's a great point. Yeah. Like in world championships before, um, in the past, you, the corners is not really an issue. No. Today, I mean, thousands and thousands of corners where yeah. the riders are actually having to plan how they're going to go into the corner and how to come out of, out of it most efficiently. So that was uh, going on all day long today. Big disappointment. <laughs> for the Belgians, on their, I, yeah, on, I, mean, course, this, I mean, they 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 sort of had one foot on the top step of the podium, and mm. as no, you called it, they got the chocolate medal. Is that, is well, that what you called a, it? Yeah, they got the chocolate medal. But you know, I mean, Van Aert was obviously the big the big favorite, the one leader of of the team, and you know, I have to say, you know, really, 
hats off today for Remco Evenepoel. Oh yeah, he was the model teammate. You know, there was a bit. There had been certain people who had casted doubts about his commitment to the team. Certain I people being the greatest of all time. Today, today, he just he he silenced everybody. He was yeah. unbelievable in his role of dedicating himself to the team and to Walt Van Aert, which you know, in his situation, I mean, he's a champion. He's a winner. Yeah, it's not it, it's not easy to do that, and he just did it. I mean, imagine if Walt Van Aert would have won the World Championships today. Well, it's the big winner of the World Championships would have been Remco Evenepoel. Agree, yeah. and, and and even I think he still is the second biggest story yeah, of the race. Yeah. Because obviously, Julian Alaphilippe winning back to back rainbow jerseys. Come, imagine you're a young kid, you come into the race, the greatest of all time, a Belgian says, you know, on national television and all over the national press that that you're a selfish rider, that you don't ride for others, that, that you're not, you don't mm-hmm. understand why they were selected. The kid's 21, 22 years old, goes out and says, hey, goat, watch this, lays it all on the line for his team. It would, I mean, it, it would have been an incredible story, and yet it still was. He proved, and maybe, maybe obviously, you know, he had that in mind, but he proved that he can ride yeah. for the team. But looking but, back as a director, Johan, I mean, you're you got three guys on the, the Belgian team in the breakaway. Are you if you're in the car, are you saying Evan Poole, everything you got right now, or is it a bit too early in the race? It's easy, it's easy to say now that it's a bit too early. But yeah. when he stopped pulling, we're at 25, 30 K to go, and it's like, wait, now what? Who's I gonna per- take over? I personally think that the commitment of Remco was an answer to the critics, yeah, mm-hmm. which was Agreed. which was not the best strategy for the Belgian team. Because they need him for yeah. later on in the race. You know, I mean, if you have three guys and you have the biggest favorite, you know, mm. you always know that, and especially on a course like this, there was today there was 20 guys who could win the race based on the course. Mm. So it's it's very difficult to win as a big favorite. And and if you have three guys, you need to use those three guys to the maximum. You know, what, what whatever Remco did was amazing, but once he was gone, there was still 18 riders left who could win yeah yeah and we're going to get into this more and more i i i, I do th- I, I think wild fun no matter what wild fun art just didn't have the legs today no he didn't and and to his defense he's had this guy's had a hell of a season and a long season and so it, the, there is all there comes this point in time where you've just burned all your matches um uh, before we get to a little bit of business, I, I failed to mention, and I'm excited to mention, we also have a special guest mm-hmm. on the show today. And if, for those of y'all who've been following our social media, it's not going to be a big surprise, but this is still a hell of a guest. Um, the today's, best guest. The best guest ever. ever. Yeah. I mean, this is the first time we've done this together in person, but to do it all together in person and then to bring this guy onto the show, <laughs> come on. Uh, today's show also brought to you by Ventum, my go-to whip, my road bike, the NS1, my gravel bike, the GS1, just direct to consumer. Ventum is crushing it. Uh, they also just put on the Wasatch All Road there uh, outside of uh, Heber City in Utah, one of the coolest gravel events. I didn't make it this year, but I've challenged George uh, to a race next year. Did I not tell you this? I did not know that. Okay. Well, I would. It, it, I just did. But I need these little goals, you know. I need these mini goals. You need goals. Through. Yeah. You need, and we're going to speaking of challenges. Our special guest is going to maybe tell us a little bit about how he kicked my ass uh, <laughs> yesterday. But uh, new bike builds start at as low as twenty seven hundred bucks. Head on over to VentumRacing.com and use the promo code the move for ten percent off at checkout. That's VentumRacing.com. Also today brought to you by Hyperice. What's cool to, uh, about talking about Hyperice is Julian Alaphilippe is a fanatical user of all of their devices, whether it's the Hypervolt Goal, uh, all the Normatec products. They've got the, the new hot and cold therapy, uh, completely revolutionize, re- revolutionizing recovery and preparation for these, these events. Uh, cool to see so many cyclists out there using Hyperice. Head on over to hyperice.com and for 15% off, use the code Lance. 15 that's hyperice.com lance 15 um you know the other thing that stuck out and you you, you, it's this is like old school this was a very different course but also like we talked about at the olympics no race radios Mm -hmm. like this this really you saw at the end of the race ala philippe was looking around looking at the the lady on the mo on the camera moto came up with a piece of paper and said that he had 27 seconds well, yeah. actually, what really happened, oh, if good. I can break it down as Lance kept saying, stop note? looking back. Stop looking back. Why are you looking back? You got to go. Well, he was looking back because he had no idea how far no ahead idea. of the breakaway. You are right about that. 
super unique for, the, for our sport. And uh, I think it's because I think it should not. Be. I mean, shouldn't be, you? Know, you, all, you guys know what my position is on the race radios, but on one of the biggest races of the year, there should be the normal communication that these guys are used to. I, I, I'm, I'm, I want to disagree with you on that. Really? I, I'm, I am a fan of race radio. Wow, that's great. But I think, it's, I think it's fun to just say, I mean, we're sitting here in my orca sitting on a couch. Y'all are drinking sangria. I'm drinking white, so we can talk about what's fun and what's not fun. But um, it, just, it just throws a kink into the plans. Like, it, it's, why not? I agree. And why not? You, you want to know what you're And by the way, the, the best car? man won anyways. Yeah, of course. Radio, of course. no race radio. Damn satellite on his head. It doesn't matter. The best man won. <laughs> which we saw him go back to the car, which you will never see a, a favor for a race. Go back to the car and talk to the director, get the plan, find out what's going on, get his own water bottle, his own gel. I mean, I feel like it, it did add to a bit to the excitement of the race not having radios today. Mm. You know, the other thing that happened for the first time in a long time is I called the winner. You did. You We're did. sitting there with the whole group. We got the whole group of, of the Move Mallorca, all these campers from all over the world, all sitting inside watching the race. In L.A., the most baller move of all time just stood up and said, the race is over. <laughs> and all these guys are like, where'd he go? <laughs> I, I knew. I mean, he. he L.A. He did was, a drop no, the mic move. You that was dropped. Drop the mic. This said, is my mic. I just dropped it. I mean, it see, was. You could see the difference. I mean, it was. It's huge was, difference. I think he was, there was like 40, 50 more watts yeah. with Tala Philippe, and everybody else was creeping. You know, they were, we, they were struggling. I, I couldn't see it. And our special guest and I, we, we thought that he was going to get caught. Really? He was going from 12 seconds to six wow. to eight. And then, of course, it might have been some GPS issues. Yeah. But uh, the, he had some amazing, strong guys by him. By the way, an American, Nielsen Palace, was in the breakaway most of the last uh, 100 kilometers of the of the race, the world yeah. championships, ended yeah. up getting fifth place. Good performance. Really I know you said that he might have worked a bit too much, but he's at the Worlds. I mean, uh, this is an exceptional performance think, for the American team, and I personally I'm happy think to see it. Paul was, that was the best possible result, Yeah, given yeah. who was the, up there. Yeah. Maybe Ford, but, you know, I mean, Jasper Stoven got Ford. You know, how bad must he feel? He, he looked so disappointed. You know, he was obviously had a who great... Jasper, Jasper Stoven, yeah. yeah. He was uh, winner of Milan San Remo at the beginning of the season. Then this race... At his back door, or yeah. at 300 meters from his front door, actually, the, the finish line. And and being fourth, that's... I mean, well, Johan, that, you, that was, that, you mentioned I, something earlier. The World Championship is 260 kilometers, like most of the World Cups. And what happens in these races? You can be one of the best in the world. It's happened to me many times. Probably not this guy. and Probably not our special guest. But after 240K, mm -hmm. and you are feeling good, you get up to go when that break goes... And the legs are saying, I, I'm sorry. I have to sit down. I, in fact, <laughs> in my, I won World Championships in Strasbourg. Uh, same thing. Last lap, last climb, brakes going. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I get up to go and the legs are like, I got nothing for you, baby. I actually sat down and stopped pedaling. <laughs> and my boy Christian Vanderbilt comes behind me, pushes me, goes, dude, are you okay? I'm like, I can't pedal. I can't pedal. So this happens to the best in the world at the World Championships. And that's what makes these races so special. Yeah. It's everything out. you got. Lights out, man with a hammer. But comes. also, I mean, to come back on 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 the Belgian team, and you know, I, I think almost everybody had Van Aert as the big favorite. Um, in the last fifty years, there's only three riders who won the world championships in their own country. Hmm. You hmm. know, it's, and it's been many times in Italy, many times in France, in Belgium. It's so difficult to win the race when you're the big favorite. And uh, and personally, I I saw the Belgian team. Too nervous. They they were very very confident, but they took charge of the race way too early. And I was surprised also to see. And this is the, the races. The way we see races are changing. You know, we could see big names mm. attacking or in or being in the in the breakaway very early with 120 kilometers. They started so early. Yeah. Well, that's what made the race so hard. I yeah. Mean, I, we can say we can break down the tactics as much as we want. There was nobody being out at the lead today. I mean, he attacked three times with 20k to go in in a section of two kilometers over two climbs. Like you don't see that. I mean, mm -hmm. it was like a, a a pro racing with juniors at that point. He was that yeah. much better. He, uh, it, no matter it, what happened, it would have been hard to beat. And even before he did, you know, made his decisive move, they showed an interview with him off the bike in casual clothes, and I said, "Oh, <laughs> that guy looks ready." Like you just see those guys when they're they're perfectly lean they but also fresh and i was like damn that that guy came to race and if you look you know in the lead up in the lead up to the world championships and that's that's what always makes the difference you know it it comes to being ready on the day and not 
three or four or wait, days before or two weeks before. You know, yeah. Alaphilippe was beaten by Van Aert every single time. That's correct. Every yeah. single time. You know, Val Green, he won those, all those races. Today he was maybe a little bit less. Mm. And Alaphilippe was the second, third, fourth, and he just came on the right moment, on the day, where the rest, you know, maybe two or three percent less. That's what makes the difference. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I, I think before we were talking earlier today, and we we're like, "What? You know, this new format or the format that that they're going with 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 bigger loops and a point to point, and then a smaller loop, so non traditional." I think we all were like, "I don't know what I think about." It. I, it ended up being a hell of a. I mean, it made it exciting. Yeah, was, and, I, how about and, this? And for Belgium, it's fun to fun to watch a bike race in Belgium in mid September versus watching bike mm-hmm. races in Belgium in April. This, this, it, it looked like a totally different country. Yeah. What people don't understand is r- bike racing in Belgium is the hardest bike racing in the entire world. Agreed. You got Tour of Flanders, you got some of the harder, and then you have the World Championships. It doesn't get any harder than this. It doesn't get any more technical than that type of racing. Yeah. So it's just super fun to watch. And the fans. And totally. imagine imagine the atmosphere. Yeah, I the mean, fans. The, the, today, I think, was, was the living proof that cycling in Belgium, in Flanders, is a religion. It's yeah, the, it's, it's the mecca. It's the, a religion. Yeah, you know, yeah. people live; they breed cycling, and uh, I mean, to see all those people was. You I see, mean, you see the podium. Yeah, the podium looked like it was at Lollapalooza. <laughs> that's that's. <laughs> yeah. No, but hey, folks, crazy. that's the way that cycling should be. Yeah. Like none of this, this bullshit podium in a field. Mm. Like that's the way you do it. Anybody yeah. wants to know how you do it? I mean, Walter and all his people out there in Flanders that that that. that took over Flander, t- Tour Flanders and reinvigorated it, reinvented it. That is the way you spice but, it. But especially, up. especially uh, you know, the, the, the way the World Championships in Belgium were set up, it's been a whole week, a whole week of cycling, and it's been building up to today, of course, the, the elite, the men elite. Mm. But it started a week ago mm. and day after day. And if you, if you would see... The newspapers, especially the TV channels, they have these shows every single day, and it's you know, there was nobody in their houses today. We're all out. Yeah, you know, you know what? Out. I'm glad we're in Mallorca watching it. Yeah, <laughs> we had you know we had the best of both. Yeah, we did. you're right, we did. Although I was trying to convince you to do a little bop over to Flanders today to watch it. Yeah, it was yeah, 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 Jizzy George was lining up a Jizzy. <laughs> have us go up there, take the whole crew up there. We would have been back for you guys, I promise. But it was, it was no. I thought we were taking everybody. <laughs> that would have been a big Jizzy because we got a lot of people here. Today's show also brought to you by Roca. We talk about this crew all the time down in Austin. You know, I, what I love about Roca is that they practice what they preach. Uh, amazing athletes push themselves all the time. So therefore, all of their product stands up to it, uh, whether it's the, the titanium aviators, the shades I ride in on a daily basis, the reading glasses, which I had to give Johan a pair because he broke his earlier. Um you look good in those new Roka readers. Mm, I know, um, I know. Rob and his whole crew. Thank you very much. Love them. Uh, special offer for our guests, 20% off uh, your first purchase. Just head on over to Roka.com. That's R-O-K-A.com. And enter the move at checkout, 20% off. Lastly, and last one of the day, also brought to you by Element T. By the way, it is hotter than hell here and humid. Um, I've, been, I've been having to hammer the Element um, I'm a sweater. You guys, you, uh, the whole crew that here with the camp have seen it. Um, I, I, I don't know what, what's up with that, but I got to replenish and replace all this stuff. The thing I love about Element, there's no junk. There's no crap. It's all straightforward. No sugar. No, just, just, just nothing artificial. Um, a lot of science behind it. 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, 60 milligrams of magnesium. Um, for our listeners, head on over to Drink lmnt.com slash the move and get your free sample pack let's drink lmnt.com slash the move and i'm happy to say you brought i hope you brought some here because i really need some because <laughs> uh, before lot, we went on George was like can i get a towel i'm, yeah, I'm starting to my own little sweat towel I'm starting, I'm starting to get a little <laughs> here's the good news so unlike all our other shows there's not multiple cameras so they cannot zoom in on you <laughs> nobody's you could be literally projectile sweating they're with this camera set up they're not going to see okay, so good. just roll with it baby <laughs> huh i got it speaking of bikes we the, the, this crew here in, in yeah. Iorca, this is this, crazy shit this, right here this bike they has found a special story and i don't yeah i don't totally know the backstory but this is and we checked johan went back 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 and 
uh, went with the OG Motorola mechanics and got the serial numbers for our old bikes at Motorola, the old Eddie Merckx bikes. And uh, this bike appears here in Mallorca yeah. from, I'm, I'm guessing, 93, 94. Wild to sit Great. there. And I mean, I think we have the best backdrop ever. Yes. And the best item in yeah. the back yeah. ever in the podcast. What a relic. Very, very historic bicycle. Yeah. 93, 94? Yeah. Either way, I mean, that feels like yesterday. Mm. And the bikes that you ride today, and then you go back and you look at that, what seemingly is yesterday. So you're, you're, like, so, you're so Mr. Non-Nostalgic. Do you kind of wish you would have kept some of your earlier bikes or not really? Because I do. I know that I rode that's some a, That's bikes. actually a great question. I know. I wish I would have kept those. I've kept some of my later ones, but something like that. I mean, that's um, that was a big mistake of mine, not keeping those bikes. What about you? And you, Yarn. Yeah, some. Other. Yeah, yeah, you have some. I have some. You have some. But, okay. I've well, got some. You haven't showed me. You got a lot of storage going on. I don't know about. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a guy. <laughs> I, need to, I need to go I, through the storage. I'm not a guy to hang up stuff. I, I have, I have in my office. I've got the yellows, and at the house, I've got one trophy, and the, everything else but in storage. To have these kind of bikes, it's, yeah. it's nice. Very yeah. cool. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. But also hard to imagine riding those bikes now. Day like today, mm -hmm. they'd have done the same course yeah. on that bike. Yeah, of course, of course. Ugh. Yeah. With like well, let's anyway. Th tires. This, this bike, if you put other wheels in it and the, and the proper gearing, it's not that big of a difference. Yeah, we'll let you try that tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Should we bring on our our, the, the, our special guest? I, the, I, this, to me, I mean, I, I I had a hell of a time watching the World Championships, but I've but I've had a an even better time spending the last three days with this man. Um, I don't think this is any big surprise. This is uh, our, our special guest is Jan Ulrich, and he, he's, a, he's a very special person. He's um, not just uh, a great guy, been a great friend. Uh, I've tried to be a great friend to him, but he was, our, he was our biggest rival. He was the guy that got us up every day. We didn't really – I don't know about you guys. I didn't care about anybody else. All these, yeah. other, all these other guys that thought they were contenders, they were straight-up pretenders. There was only one contender, and it was Jan Ork. He was the guy that got me uh, revved up um, every day for, for, for many, many years. And so you, he, um, was, he was the guy. I'd get text messages from this guy. I go, does Jan look fat to you? I think he looks fat. He's like, <laughs> this he looks, he's fat. No way. Like every year, I'd get the same text messages from about like April to May, like photos of Jan. He looks fat. No, he doesn't look good. Like, well, but there could there, 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 but there, no, there's there, been, there there's been other, there's other, there's other, other days where it's like, oh no, he yeah, looks he amazing. Looks yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, so you didn't know what year it was, but it yeah. was, it was, the, I mean, how, uh, well, fact, I agree. I for agree. the only time, that's the only time in my life that I've been texting back and forth with another guy about it. Not that that's a problem, but like, <laughs> hey, did you see his legs? <laughs> did you see his ass? His ass is shit. He looks, he looks fit. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I agree. I agree, Lance. You it know, was an obsession. We, we, we have. You know, a long story with the tour and with Jan, but I agree. He was the only guy yeah. that worried us, um, and rightfully so. I think rightfully so. There's yep. been there's been a few <laughs> times that uh, you know he uh, he got us some sleepless nights. <laughs> good thing we didn't have the aura ring back then. Yeah. George, you brought up a good point today because we're covering the World Championships. As I, you know, it's been 28 years since I won the World Championships in Oslo. Jan won the amateur world championships in '93 uh, in Oslo, was, uh, in the very same city. So yeah, that's, um, that's Jan. Come on up. Let's bring the, you, the, the, the man, the, the the legend. <laughs> yeah. How you doing, brother? Yeah, fine. Thank you. <laughs> you bring the red red collar for all the compliments in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> It's it's been it's been a um, it's just been an incredible few days um, being with you and uh, you know we don't need to get into the last few years but you, you are here you are healthy and uh, you're a totally different person um, absolutely you know you know my story uh, two years ago I have a big problems mm. you come and visit me and uh, I was so happy you come and uh, yeah. I was on the same way, Marco Pantani, mm. uh, nearly dead. And then uh, I recover me and uh, I have a good friends, you too, mm. Johan too, and uh, another friends and bring me back in the life. And uh, now I'm uh, very happy. Yep. Mm. Yeah. 
I had one small, re- I mean, I love the fact that, that everything is happy and healthy, but yesterday when you were kicking my ass on the bike and I was, <laughs> and I was starting to come off the back, I was like, ah, I've never seen this like this. I've never Pants, felt listen, this. This let was me, a terrible. Let me t- okay, let me tell you. Actually, it wasn't terrible. I don't know. I, at this point, I don't really give a shit, but I was hurting so bad. Let me tell you the secret now. So, okay. Jan and I were here the day before you, and Jan said, what's the, what's the best to kick Lance's ass. I say, you know what? <laughs> the first day, as soon as he gets here, just yeah. that's that's when you have to get him because he's going to be jet lagged. I know he had a party, a birthday party, so he's going to be recovering from that. So Mexico, yes. Jan took the advice, and I was, you know, I was I was glad to see. I mean, it was nice to see. Well, you know, was sorry, what? no offense, but I, <laughs> you know, I was glad to see Jan go I, for it. And uh, I gotta say, I, it I can see you were hurting. I, I, you I were hang, hurting. Are you hanging only uh, on the on the on the wheel from uh, George? No, yeah. it made, it made <laughs> feel, George, make this beat. It made me feel very awkward because all of a sudden we're I'm going and Lance is going, go faster, go slower, go faster. I'm like, what, what do you want me to do? <laughs> and all of a sudden it's, it's just Jan and I go. And Jan goes, so we wait. I go, I don't know, but I'm very uncomfortable right now. You tell me what you want me to do. <laughs> like you're cheating on your wife. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and when I saw that, I was like, I feel like I'm getting cheated on. <laughs> no, I was, no, no, no. I actually yeah. felt better the first day than I did today. I, I, I woke up and felt like I got kicked yeah. in the head today. But, yeah. you know, we got, that was you an, start that with was, me? I'll get you That back. was an incredible, incredible ride. Uh, I know, Johan, you got something for Jan, but like, Jan, What's crazy is you just said you started riding a bike five weeks ago. And, like, the man is so fit right now. His pedal stroke <laughs> is perfect. But well, it's the same. more importantly it's to me, same. like, when you were a cyclist and we rode with you, I actually thought you were a robot. Like, you were so stoic on the bike. Like, <laughs> always super focused. You'd smile once in a while and you were very nice. But, like, we never really talked. But I feel like your energy now is, like, it's, inc- it's like, consuming. Like, you consume the whole room when you walk in. I mean, you, how much of that that has to do with the bike? Getting you back on the bike and, and bringing the love back to the bike is that a big deal for you? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, it, it's correct. I start uh, when I when I have the invitation for this for this and the friend to call me and say, hey, it's a good idea. Uh, you you come to to your friends to Mallorca and uh, cycling a little bit. I say in the first time I say no. Yeah. I'm not good in shape. I, I, I have a, a flat a net, Netflix uh, yeah. back <laughs> all the winter. I stay in, and then and then I, I sing and sing and then why not why not and go your speed and when you when you're not good in shape then uh, spend 10 kilometers with you guys every mm-hmm. every second is good for me and then I start the training and uh, yeah the first day I think my all my cells forget all <laughs> but God give me uh, this body and mm-hmm. God give me this talent and yeah, uh, yeah and then and then I'm I'm uh, I'm uh, not. Uh, Nothing or full gas, yeah. yeah. And this is uh, I start with all with black roll. I start with with nearly this. <laughs> I I hold my, my, a coach for for my back uh, yeah. and for muscles and uh, and uh, yeah, I train every day good and uh, drink water. I stop alcohol, drugs. You yeah. know this uh, uh, three years ago, and uh, live very healthy. My my girlfriend cooking very very healthy for me, and this all together bring me to a good shape and a good feeling. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's so nice to see, you know. I mean, George, you already asked what I was going to ask him. So, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. No, no. I mean, uh, for me personally, uh, you know, and, and no offense to our guests of the, of the the camp, but the high point of this week is having Jan back. To, first of all, the big reunion with you guys. Uh, you know, I know how you guys have communicated in the last few years, <laughs> but. You know, to see to see them back for me, to see you guys back together on the bike, and and to see that you know, the legs almost still look the same of both. <laughs> you know, the, the, when you see these, these guys ride together, there's still one guy using his huge power, <laughs> and there's still the other guy who's using his high cadence. It's amazing to see this. Twenty something years and George later, can, can all. <laughs> but George, is, George, George does everything. He's an all rounder. Yeah. yeah, you know, he trains. You know, it's funny too because I actually see that in Johan too in the car. But he's like weaving in this downhills, and he sees us catching up and going. He's like, you can see the smile on his face. Like, this is awesome. I'm back. Let's go. <laughs> it is true. It's. Yeah. The, I mean, I, you know, it's obviously a whole different different environment, but it's it brings back so many good memories. You know, although we Absolutely. were rivals. Absolutely. You know. Yeah. But and and I think this is this is the nicest thing that you know that we can be together now and 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 know that 
you guys have been rivals, but you're friends. We all care about each other, mm. really care about each other, and would do anything for each other yeah. when somebody needs it. And I think that's the best. I mean, for me, this is probably the high point of my year. But I, I think, <laughs> Joanna, really I, don't, I don't think yeah. you need to apologize to anybody here because we're, we're all having a great time. Jan, you're taking off tomorrow. We're, we're staying. Um, th- that was your highlight. was my highlight. It was y'all's highlight. Like, to, to, to be with this man, to see him back yeah. and healthy and fit and to see us just kind of jabbing. I mean, that is... You you talk about a robot. You'd have to be a robot to not feel that. So mm. that's that's the, 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 our history is is no matter what anybody says. Yes, we we came through a crazy time and a fucked up time, and you know we all navigated it differently. But we're here, right? And we've got this man back, fit and healthy. By the way, you know, you know, not that I'm a person that really cares about social media, but I wanted to highlight this man and highlight um what he's overcome just if you did just look at the numbers record numbers like so many people cheering yeah for this man so many people loving this bond this friendship this brotherhood that's all that matters mm-hmm. like that's the thing for that's me true. yeah um uh, it, it's just it's it's certainly one of the highlights uh, uh of my year and you know yeah. and it, you know Things happen for a reason, you know. We're yes. here today in Mallorca. We're having the podcast on the World Championships. And when you guys just started your career, both of you, mm. in the same town, in the same year, we're world champion. I mean, that's that's like, okay, yeah, we're yeah, coming yeah, full circle, full yeah. circle, you know. So that's that's so nice. Yeah. 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 The other thing, too, is I think people appreciate that when we were racing bikes, sure, we loved what we did and we wouldn't trade it for anything, but... It's not exactly fun all the time. Like you're risking your life, but what we're doing here in Mallorca, like we're riding one of the most beautiful places in the entire world, and we're actually able to have fun. I mean, this guy, like the shit he does. I'm a good descender, but what he's doing on the downhills, like one-handed <laughs> video and looking back, and these are downhills <laughs> in Mallorca are like the craziest downhills in the world. The guy is just having a blast, and I'm having a blast watching it. It's super fun, and I think it's all of our guests are, are seeing the the energy that he brings to the table and. It's, uh, anybody can do it. You can ride your bike for as long as you want, and uh, that's what we're appreciative of right now, being able to ride our bikes for fun. Yeah, yeah. I forget for a long time uh, what is good for me. Yeah. I forget it with all the bullshit. Uh, yeah, all I remember is 20 years ago or 15 years ago. And then I forget uh, what is good for me, and uh, cycling is good, hanging hanging up with friends, uh, love, my kids, my family. All this, I forget this. Yeah, This yeah. was my you, problem. You yeah. said that to me. You said, yeah. I didn't actually love training or biking when I was racing, but now this is amazing. This is yeah. so fun. And that really Absolutely. that really hit me hard. Like, you're so right. It's so fun to be able to yeah. ride a bike with yeah. friends. Yeah, well, thank God it changed because there wouldn't be seven tours if you loved it back in the day. I can promise <laughs> you that. We almost, in a way, knew you didn't. I mean, because, Jan, well, you were a... You were the golden boy. You were this kid. As a young kid, you came, you know, and this goes back, starting in East Germany. Comes, he was the anointed one. He was going to to be the global star for German cycling. And it almost looked uh, forced in some ways. And so I'm, maybe I, I shouldn't say this out loud, but that's probably better that you didn't love it at the time for us. Because if you, if you, the passion that you have had the last four days back then. Yeah, yeah. And then we, we get second, third every time. We, we always knew that. We yeah. always knew that this was the guy. Like, there's only one guy to beat. He could do it all. Well, And he had a great team. Yeah. Every, everything about it. It's like... But anyway, no, when we're here now, and Jan, we, we, you know, we've done this we've done this camp. We hope that you can come back for another camp. You know, everybody has enjoyed your your presence here, and, uh, and especially us. So, uh, you know... It's really good to see you. I mean, I've already congratulated you three or four times, and I want to do it once again. You know, I want to really congratulate yeah, you on where you are right yes. now. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You know, it's 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 amazing. You know, it's, yeah. it's thanks a lot. Really, really happy to see thanks you. Thanks for like help this. and thanks for spend time with me. And uh, for me, it was it was the same. Yeah, you speak the same. Uh, what my heart wants speaking. Uh, this is uh, this is the family and this is friends. We fighting so many races <laughs> together and now uh, and then you come for when I have problems. You you never never uh, waiting uh, one day longer. You come with the fly 
and visit me and uh, want to help me and uh, I never forget this. And now yeah. we're sitting here, yeah. spend time and uh, this was not the last time. No, no, yeah, I think no. So. Yeah. You know, Same Anna guys. said, a, she, she said a thing to me the other day. She said, Jan's still good, right? And I said, I said, I, I'm pretty sure I would, I would be one of the first calls mm -hmm. and I would be on the next flight. Mm -hmm. And so, I, I, Jan, you got this, you know, we, and, 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 Uh, I'll always be here for you. you. You drastically changed my life. You challenged me as a man. Even, even, even as our relationship has evolved, it's it's it is a challenge because we we all get old and we all have issues. We all have struggles, um, and it's fun to help. Or it's, it's not fun, but it's 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 um, tough sometimes mm -hmm. to to help friends in a, in a deep deep way. But mm -hmm. um, it's just cool to because we you know. And for those who don't know, like we never really all. George can tell you. I didn't like anybody. <laughs> I told these guys not to like anybody. You know, I had to pretend you were a nice guy. I, there were other guys that I didn't vibe with, but I was like, no, 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 no friends. There are no friends. <laughs> um, and to see it all come full circle and to know that, and even some of your old teammates, Andreas Cloden, who was, you know, I didn't like in the day. Then we were on Astana with him. I'm like, wait a minute. This is one of the best teammates of all time. How could I not like this guy? <laughs> And, you know, Daniel Hondo last night, like super, like, yeah, yeah, I'm like yeah. I was such an asshole, um, <laughs> truly. And so, uh, so can I bring this up, like this story up um, as we progress in our relationship? But just to remind you never to go back there. <laughs> okay, sure. This is going to be good. No, I'm saying like when we leave oh, you're in the future, okay. like oh yes, in yes, the months to come and the years to come, when you get mad at me for nothing, I can say that. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, this guy. Yeah. Anyways, anything exciting coming up? Yeah, I you're busy. Uh, yeah, I come busy. Yeah, yeah. But I sleep uh, the last three years <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on my couch. My girlfriend noticed. <laughs> no, I need the time for me, and uh, now uh, I'm come. My brain is clean. Uh, my Ooh. body is uh, good in shape, and uh, we saw that. Yeah, and then I have uh, good ideas. Uh, I will tell you next time more. Yeah. You can <laughs> continue to ride your bike. More importantly, What? right? You're going to continue to ride your bike. When you go back home, yeah, sure. I, sure go, right? I, I go. I go. I have. Yeah, I have some some good ideas, but this uh, in the start phase and uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I have, I have a good friends and a good team at home yeah. and uh, yeah. yeah, I'm not alone. Yeah. It's important. No, you're not. I, I need. No, you're I, not. I needed help, and now now I had help. And, and now you got the uh, bike again. I had a really yeah, good, sure. And, you got, and yeah, I had a, a really good uh, friend of mine, German guy. Um, sent me an article to, you know, and I know that we, you know, we always sort of take a guarded approach to the press. You know, when somebody says, Oh, the press, like, I don't do press. Like this is press to me. This is, the, we yeah, yeah, yeah. create the press, but I, I, and I don't know what press in Germany is like or not like, but he sent me this article and of course it was in German, but he said, listen, this is, a, I mean, amazing. Like the, this is what, look, we all make, what was the article about? About us being here, it was about oh, okay. the the Instagram oh, post great. from um, uh, from yesterday. So um, it, it's cool to see your, your country, you know, our, rather our countries forget sometimes, um, but um, you can't totally erase history. And so it's it's cool to see how what seems to be a a, a, a groundswell of support in Germany. Um, Absolutely, yeah, right. This man's one of the one of the greatest of all time, uh, certainly in our minds. I mean, if it, nobody else kept me up at night, nobody else challenged me, um, nobody else put the fear of God in me. So, as far as I'm concerned, man's a legend, and uh, even more so. To <laughs> forget what he did on the bike, to see him now, yeah, to have overcome because the man that I saw three years ago. And the man you see today, that, that's the, this, that is <laughs> yeah. one of the greatest comebacks in the yeah. history of the world. Yeah. The most I mean, important it, one it, in his career. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, Jan, yeah. thanks for being here, brother. Yeah, thanks, John. thank you, thank you. Okay. Take it easy. Yeah. Next time, take it easy on me. <laughs> thank you, Jan. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you. What did you think of all of uh, 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 Then we'll wrap it up. What did you think of all of Philippe? Amazing. Yeah, uh, first, uh, congratulations. <laughs> yeah. This was a race, and he was the strongest. Absolutely, he take the attack. Uh, he he don't wait. Uh, I think it's too, it's too, uh, too, too, mo too much kilometer, and then mm -hmm. he take the attack. Yeah. But you tell it the, the race is finished. And I yeah. tell no, George, yeah, we he was like, eight yeah. second, nine second. Yeah, 
but he was the strongest, uh, unbelievable. Yeah. He yeah. won this and he had it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He is yeah. that kind he of is, guy. Uh, he, 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 when they put, the, they put the numbers on his back, that's a different guy. Yeah. Like, I mean, Absolutely. That's, Absolutely. <laughs> he's yeah. a champion. So He's a champion, yeah. Thanks for being here, Thank dude. Thank Thanks you. for tuning in, everybody. Thanks, everybody, for being here. And uh, and uh, guess, next next weekend, we it won't Paris be as great of a backdrop, but we'll be back for a Paris Roubaix. Oh, buddy, you bet. Yeah, yep. so we'll see you then. Yep. Thanks, y'all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Nice job. Nice job. <laughs>